Singalila National Park is a national park of India located on the Singalila Ridge at an altitude of more than 7,000 feet above sea level, in the Darjeeling district of West Bengal. It is well known for the trekking route to Sandakfu that runs through it. History The park was declared a wildlife sanctuary in 1986, and was made an Indian National Park in 1992. The region had long been used as the trekking route from Manevanjong to Sandakfu the highest peak of West Bengal and Falut. Geography <laughs> 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 Political geography, the park is located in the Darjeeling subdivision, Darjeeling district, West Bengal, India. It is bordered on the north by the state of Sikkim and on the west by the country of Nepal. Physical geography, the park is part of the eastern Himalayas. The Singalila Ridge, which runs roughly north to south and separates Himalayan West Bengal from the other eastern Himalayan ranges to the west of it. The two highest peaks of West Bengal, Sandakfu meters and Falut meters, are located on the ridge and inside the park. River Ramam and River Sorakola flow through the park. <laughs> Human history The park has no significant history of human settlement. However, small settlements have grown up along the trekking route to Sandakfu and Falut. There is a reasonably large village at Kala Pokhri, around the lake of the same name. The Singalila Ridge was used as an approach route by the first documented mountaineering team which unsuccessfully attempted to climb Kanchenjunga in 1905. The team was led by Jules Jacket Galarmad and the famous occultist Alistair Crowley. Natural history Biomes The national park falls in the Indomalaya ecozone, and the biomes corresponding to the ecozone which are present in the park are Eastern Himalayan subalpine conifer forests of the temperate coniferous forests biome Eastern Himalayan broadleaf forests of the temperate broadleaf and mixed forests biome Himalayan subtropical pine forests of the subtropical coniferous forest biome the subtropical biome roughly exists in the altitude range of 1800 to 3000 meters and the temperate biome exists in the altitude range of 3000 meters to 4500 meters Topic Flora Thick bamboo, oak, magnolia and rhododendron forest between 2,000 and 3,600 meters cover the Singalila Ridge. There are two seasons of wildflower bloom, one in spring March and April when the rhododendrons bloom, and another in the post-monsoon season around October, when the lower forests bloom primula, geranium, saxifraga, bistort, senecio, cottonister and numerous orchids. Sandakfu is known as the mountain of poisonous plants. Due to the large concentration of Himalayan cobra lilies Arisema, which grow there. The plant life has been surveyed in 2001. Fauna Mammals – The park has a number of small mammals including the red panda, leopard cat, barking deer, yellow-throated marten, wild boar, pangolin and pika. Larger mammals include the Himalayan black bear, leopard, clouded leopard, sero and takan. Tigers occasionally wander into the area, but do not have a large enough prey base to make residence in these forests feasible. Birds, the park is a birder's delight with over 120 species recorded including many rare and exotic species like the scarlet minivet, callage pheasant, blood pheasant, satyr tragopan, brown and fulvous parrotbills, rufous vented tit, and old world babblers like the fire-tailed misornus and the golden-breasted fulveta. The park is also on the flyway of many migratory birds. Reptiles and amphibians, the endangered Himalayan newt frequents the region and congregates around the lakes of Jor Pokhri and Sukhiapokhri and nearby lakes to reproduce. Jor Pokhri and Sukhiapokhri are within 20 km of the park boundary and are protected wildlife sanctuaries.
Topic: Conservation issues. The major issues at the park are trash collection on trekking routes and ensuring minimal damage of flora by trekkers, as flora at such high altitudes tend to grow really slowly. Grazing of yak and cattle from neighboring villages can also be a problem. Forest fires can be a threat to the park, especially in spring when the accumulated debris from winter can be a hazard. A forest fire swept through the park on 6 March 2006. Even though the National Park has a resident red panda population of only about 20 to 25 members, Project Red Panda, funded by the Central Zoo Authority, chose Singalila National Park for reintroduction of red pandas from its captive breeding program at the Padmaha Naidu Himalayan Zoological Park in Darjeeling, mainly due to reasons of proximity. Two females, Sweetie and Millie, were released in November 2004. Millie was killed by a leopard, but Sweetie adapted to the wild and gave birth to an offspring, the first such successful reentry for Red Panda. 1. The reintroduction was filmed by noted Indian filmmakers Rajesh Bedi and Naresh Bedi. The documentary, named Cherub of the Mist, won the Best Conservation and Environmental Film at the 29th International Wildlife Film Festival in Montana. 2. Park-specific information The park is one of the most popular family camping destination in the eastern Himalayas. The two seasons to visit the park are in spring March to May and post-monsoon mid-September to early December. The park is closed to tourists from 16 June to 15 September every year on account of the monsoons. Activities Trekking and camping – The trek along the Singalila Ridge to Sandakfu and Falut is one of the most popular ones in the eastern Himalayas, due to the grand vistas of the Kanchenjunga Range, and the Everest Range which can be seen from the ridge, and also for the seasonal wildflower blooms and birding. Treks begin at Manevanjan which is 51 km hours by road from Darjeeling. The trekking routes inside the national park have four legs or stages. Manevanjan to Megma 2,600 meters. This is a four-hour trek through the lower forest. Megma to Gairibans 2,621 meters. There are two alternative trekking routes. Both go via Tonglu 3,070 meters and Tumling 2,900 meters. The boundary of the national park passes though Tumling and a checkpost is located there. From Tumling, a shorter trail cuts through Nepal and Jabari 2,750 meters. Gairibans to Sandakfu 3,636 meters, this is a steep four-hour climb up. Roughly halfway up the climb is the village of Kala Pokri 3,186 meters. Sandakfu to Falut 3,600 meters, this is the most pristine stretch of the trek, offering great views of Kanchenjunga and Mount Everest. It is a one-day trek via Sabarkam 3,536 meters covering 21 kilometers. But the main problem of this Sandakfu Falut route is there is no water source in between so the trekker have to carry enough water to reach Falut. The descent from Sandakfu can be accomplished in several ways. Retracing the way back to Manevanjan. A steep descent to the village of Sorikola on the banks of the river Sorikola, via Gurdam 2,300 meters, and from there to Rimbak. There is now a 4WD motorable road to Sandakfu, so one can hire a cab down to Manevanjan and Darjeeling via Tomling and Tonglu if needed. The drive on the gravel road, however, is very arduous. The descent from Falut can also be accomplished in several ways. Retracing the way back to Manevanjan. A descent down to Sorikola along high altitude meadows which have seasonal blooms. The descent is via Sabarkam and the abandoned village of Mali. A further trek leads one to the scenic village of Rimbak, which is motorable. The most popular descent is via the villages of Gorki on the banks of the river Ramam and Samandan down to the village of Ramam. The trail then leads to Rimbak, and is shorter than the route via Sorikola. Birding, the Singalila National Park is one of the most popular birding spots in the eastern Himalayas, since it attracts a large number of birds due to its seasonal blooms. Blooming seasons are the best times to see birds. Lodging 
Ceylon Tea House is a small cozy place to stay while at Megma. There are two roomed guest houses and trekkers huts at Tonglu, Gairibans, Sandakfu, Falut, Kala Pokri and several other locations in the park, run by the Darjeeling Gorkha Hill Council. Numerous guest houses and lodging are available at Manevanjan. The preferred way to visit the park is to stay in Darjeeling and camp inside the national park. Approach Nearest airport Bagdagra Airport, West Bengal Gangtok Helipad, East Sikkim District, Sikkim Nearest railhead Narrow gauge, Goom, West Bengal Standard gauge, New Jalpaiguri, West Bengal Nearest highway, NH31A Sivak Gangtok passes through Darjeeling which is one. Five hours by car from Manevanjan. Nearest town, Manevanjan, the access point for Rimbuk and Tumling, the gateways to the park. Nearest city, Darjeeling. Topic: <laughs> How to reach. By road, Singalila National Park is well connected by road, but the roads are circular and the journey can feel like wave motion. The road route from Siliguri. Siliguri, Sukna, Rangtong, Kursung, Tung, Sonata, Goom, Manevanjan, Tonglu 90 km. By rail, the nearest railway station of is Goom Railway Station 31 km from Tonglu entry point to the Singalila National Park. By air, Singalila National Park is located 13 km from Bagdagra Airport in Bagdagra. That is the nearest airport, but by road it is less than 100 km and takes 3 to 4 hours. Films Singalila in the Himalaya by George Thengamudal http colon slash slash Thindia. Info, Singalilan The Himalaya film speaks about the history of Singalila Ridge through a 14-day trek. <laughs>